I'm here with Frank today, and he is the last of the dogs that um, we are removing from a dog meat farm in South Korea. This is the third dog meat farm we closed down this year. These puppies were too small at the time that the farm was closed to be able to ship them to the United States. And with, with Frank and his siblings, this will be over 200 dogs that we have rescued from dog meat farms in South Korea this year. These dogs have so much resiliency and they've suffered so much. All of these dogs have the same capacity to play or feel joy or feel love. And I want to be a part of making sure that every dog has that opportunity to experience the good things in life that these dogs really deserve. Just a few weeks ago, we were here rescuing over 100 dogs from this dog meat farm. This whole area was filled with cages that had dogs in them. Dogs lived in terrible conditions, and today we're here to celebrate the removal of these cages and the destruction of this dog meat farm for good. I wanted to not go with those cages for a very, very long time and having seen all the dogs desperately pounding at those doors, trying to break free, knocking them over, and knowing that not only will they ever, never have dogs again, they'll never have any animal in there. And so, yeah, it's, it feels really good. For me, the point that we're coming and, and being able to actually participate in destroying the cages and knocking them down is a really great feeling and really brings a sense of closure to this, this farm here. So we're here at the airport with this last batch of puppies that are going to the United States. So they'll be flying out this afternoon and arriving in San Francisco where they'll go to the San Francisco SPCA. And from there, they'll be finding their families so that they can live a life that every dog deserves. <laughs>